All right, kids, welcome to uh, Energy Boom 101. Have no clue what dispatch this is. Uh, we lost count 20 years ago. And uh, this is actually, uh, we're starting to sort of switch over, and even though it's under the, uh, the umbrella of Energy Boom 101, brought to you by the Transparent Barrel LLC, uh, we're going to call this the, the barrel, K-Barrel, K-B-R-L, because this is the radio uh, show that we'll eventually do if we can get someone to uh, let us do it, or we'll podcast it, kids. We'll get crazy, but it's the barrel, K-B-R-L. Uh, get by, by the way, uh, we should have opened up with this because now you're getting ready to look through the lens of a transparent barrel forged forged from the forces of uh, the optimism of oil and the compassion of cannabis uh, comes the confluence of events that are reported here on KBRL, the barrel. And uh, by the way, get ready for a barrel roll. This is huge. Boom, coming at you. Oh, shit. Just about to complete itself. Boom, you just went through a barrel roll. Uh, your mind should be like a Mobius strip if this is working correctly. If not, don't worry about it. We're only admitted into this beast. Uh, got a lot of news today, by the way. A lot of energy news and then some big, big cannabis news from our good friends at GW Pharmaceuticals. For all your favorite uh, cancer um, combating uh, products, uh, look into GW Pharmaceuticals Sativex. It's the actual name of the drug, and I shit you not. We just gave them a free pitch, and we're going to show you what we're going to talk about next. Since we talk about cannabis and crude, we're going to talk about crude. Check this out. Uh, Devon reaches $2.3 billion deal to sell acreage in six states. So we're going to read it a little bit, then we'll talk about it. We'll move on to the next thing. That's the amazing um, forensic work we do here at uh, the K-Barrel, K-B-R-L. We actually just go out and get a newspaper. Here it is, damnedest thing you've ever seen. And uh, we read it on air, and we get away with actually being uh, taken seriously. But I doubt that's happening, to be honest. Um, if you're lucky, kids, we will get a thunderstorm. I see the potential. I'm just going to do a quick spin over here and let you see what's going on in that uh, eastern sky of uh, Boom You. Neath an eastern sky tonight. Uh, interest, look at this. Interesting shot. Rapturous. I would say rapturous. We may get a, uh, we may get a thunderstorm. In the meantime, we're going to put you back in the cradle of the uh, Boom You Hotel California shot. And uh, I know you're all uh, completely uh, probably brain dead by now because we're only uh, two and a half minutes into it and it feels like two and a half years, but I can assure you that it'll be worth every painful uh, 15 minutes to stay abreast of how a boom is unfurling uh, right here at Boom U, right here on Campus Corner, and that boom is oil and gas. And then how another boom is not so much unfurling but overgrowing, and that's the uh, cannabis boom, the marijuana boom, that on Wall Street is called marijuana mania because it's nutso, going nutso, uh, like the Internet stocks did back whenever they did. I think it was in 1723, or that may have been when the tulip bulbs went off. But uh, what we can tell you is there's a lot of news to cover. I want to start with this Devon thing. That's a pretty big deal. Uh, you're well aware of Devon, publicly traded, uh, well-respected oil and gas company in Oklahoma City. And here, my friend, are the Bells. Now, we just integrate them. We don't fight them. We just integrate them. There it is. And that's all you're going to get. However, uh, well, you're going to miss out on the bells of Boom U uh, tolling nine, which is sort of a bummer because we're now three and a half minutes into it, which means in the next uh, seven minutes we'll be calling the paramedics and then we'll bring in the straitjackets. Uh, but seriously, folks, let's talk about Devon Energy. Let's just read it. Probably the best thing to do. Make it easy. Firm completes portfolio transformation, selling domestic non-core assets. Devon reaches $2.3 billion deal to sell acreage in six states. It, and I'm reading Jay Marks right here. I'm just going to read straight from his uh, article. It looks like Devon Energy Corp's rapid move from natural gas to oil will cost about $1 billion. Devon on Monday announced a $2.3 billion deal to sell all of its domestic non-core assets to Lynn Energy. The Oklahoma City-based oil and natural gas producer sold its conventional natural gas assets in Canada earlier this year for $2.7 billion, allowing it to recoup most of the $6 billion it paid to move into Southwest Texas oil-rich Eagle Ford Shale. So you can see what's happening. Devon decides what assets they're going to sell to get the cash to then buy into the next uh, assets that they're going to develop big time. Um, so you should really read this. Um, it's probably a great article. I'll read it. You'll be amazed at what you may or may not learn. But um, 
we will now um, move our way down to the next uh, big thing. And it's uh, this lovely thing right here. Well, it's something about, well, you can't even see it. Oklahoma's hottest stocks. So we're going to go straight to that because you're going to see a shitload of oil and gas. Oklahoma's hottest stocks. Let's see. Page 4C. 4C. Well, shit, they didn't do a graph for us. Uh, by the way, that shit was spelled S-S-S-H-H-H-I-T, so it's different. Um, they didn't do a graph for us. I thought we might just be reading off who are the hot stocks. Um, but while we're here, you know what we're going to do and get ready for it, kids? It's nutty as shit, and it gets it done every time. You are now in Oil Patch Jazz Land. That is the, if you can, if I can get the focus on the son of a bitch. Those are the oil logs right there I'm getting ready to barrage you with. And this is all a part of Oil Patch Jazz because we have quite a few completions today. And we're going to start out in, uh, and this is alphabetical, by the way. We're starting out in good old Creek County. And they're not drilling too deep, only 7,400 feet. Um, but wow, mofo, Pantera Energy has popped one for 643 barrels a day. That's pretty frickin' big gusher. Plus, they only want 7,400 feet to do it. Let's find Creek County. That could be an enormously profitable play. Um, Pantera Energy also drilled another well, much more shallow, 5,000 feet, no production. But we're going to go ahead and make a note right now to uh, check into uh, Creek County, and we're going to do that with this little thing right here. Get ready for it. Oh, shit, there it is. It's the uh, magnifying glass. Boom, and it just found Creek County. And Pantera Energy. We should probably maybe do a little homework. Maybe we'll get them on the show with Alanis Morissette. Logan County. Uh, Devon Energy has three wells they've drilled. Uh, first one, 74 barrels a day. Second one. 255 barrels a day. Gets better, kids. Third one, 385 barrels a day. All three wells were roughly 11,000 feet. Uh, nice, nice production. We love Devon. Payne County. You know who's in Payne County? Uh, Aubrey McClendon. Uh, the Maestro's American Energy Woodford LLC in Payne County. And they popped one for 68 barrels, so he's going to have to do better than that, and I'm sure it's going to happen. Uh, and you know it will because look at this, Devon is right next to him and Devon popped one for 28 barrels. So, um, you know, the improvements will come. And uh, by the way, we have uh, actual live uh, minds on fire, uh, students and uh, an assembled uh, uh, mass of humanity that seems to be walking around uh, below in the alley of lost souls. Let's get into Woods County because Mid-States Petroleum has four wells they drilled. They drill a lot up there and that's up in northwest Oklahoma and I believe that's the Mississippi Lime. Uh, Mid-States, 279 barrels a day, 47 barrels a day, 594 barrels a day, motherfucker, P-H-U-C-K-E-R. Pretty good pop there. And then another one, 355 barrels a day. So looking pretty strong there for Mid-States. And I think they're publicly traded, but I don't follow them. I don't follow anything. So uh, the intent to drill, thats we always like to read that because that's going to let us know... Um, who's coming up, who's drilling. And here's who's going to be coming to town to drill. In Alfalfa County, greatest name ever. Also the Mississippi Lime, northwest Oklahoma. Sandridge drills a shitload there, and guess what? Here, who's filed two intent to drill permits? Sandridge. Um, in Beaver County, that's in the Panhandle, no man's land. Unit Petroleum, a nice little small vertically integrated player out of Tulsa. Um, a significant ownership stake taken by George Kaiser, by the way. Uh, perhaps uh, the most respected oilman uh, I've never met, because I've never met him, but I bet he is. Um, um, in Beckham County, that's a big one. In western Oklahoma, that's Apache. Of course, you're well aware of Apache, and they usually do a pretty good job of popping those wells out there, but we'll see. Uh, Beckham County is probably the granite wash. I don't know. Creek County, remember we just talked about them with Pantera knocking the shit out of one for 643 barrels a day? Well, Dexon, D-E-X-X-O-N, greatest name ever, is uh, going to be drilling there, and they're only going to 3,900 feet, so we'll see. Uh, Garfield County, I believe that might be Chickasha. Hot, hot play down there, kids. No, 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 that's Grady County, Chickasha. Anyway, Garfield County has Sandridge, Grady County, the next one. That has our good boy Hank Ham with Continental Resources going deep, 1,700 feet. In Grant County, Sandridge is going to pop one to 11,000. Hey, look at this. You're going to really want to follow this, kids. In Hughes County, 
There's a company called PetraQuest. We follow them at the boom. Lovely little newsletter comes out once a month. Best birdcage liner ever, bar none. We're not even at 10 minutes into the hour, so please prepare yourself. Take a deep breath. I know the, uh, I know the scenery is overwhelming and beautiful, and so we're going to change it a little. We're going to spin it around this way. Just give a little shot of that, and we're going to continue this because PetraQuest is a little oil and gas company that we've decided will run point on telling the story of the boom as it travels through southeast Oklahoma. They uh, basically have just cut a deal to invest about $200 million in four counties in southeast Oklahoma to drill in the Woodford Shale for natural gas, which, by the way, they're publicly traded at $7 a share. Plenty of people think that they can go to $15 a share. They were once at $25 a share. Who frickin' knows? The game's on, though. And um, they recently were in the news for signing a uh, joint venture with a, the America's largest wind energy company, uh, which I believe is a subsidiary, maybe a Florida utility and gas, I'm not for sure. Uh, and I think the wind energy company is called like Next, Next Era Energy. But anyway, you can look it up. But uh, this, this big wind energy company signed a joint venture with PetroQuest, which is that company that we've, we used to, in the boom to uh, show you what's happening in southeast Oklahoma. And that, that day alone on that announcement, the stock went up probably 8%. So we feel pretty good about PetroQuest. Uh, if it's probably at about 8 bucks right now, we think it's probably pretty undervalued, but we don't know for sure. All we do is read the people smarter than us. But check this out. Filed for intent to drill in Hughes County, which is one of the four counties where they're investing $200 million over the next year. PetroQuest Energy is drilling one, two, three, four wells. They're all going down to 10,800, 10,900 feet. We'll be able to start seeing production on these babies, and I bet they boom. Then we can find out what their costs are. Uh, so let's move on. That was just a nice little um, announcement about PetroQuest because we're going to follow them. We're good friends. We like them, what we know about them. Lincoln County, Equal Energy, interesting story on them. We'll get to them in just a second, but they're going to be drilling there. And then finally in Love County, Continental Resources. So Continental is also in Love County. Pretty interesting. Uh, we spoke about Equal County, Equal Energy, pardon me. So let's talk about Equal Energy. There's an article right here in this glorious paper that says, firm endorses equal energy sale. Another shareholder advisory firm has endorsed equal energy limited proposed sale to PetroFlow Energy Corp. The deal which was announced in December must be approved by two thirds of equal shareholders at a special meeting next month in Calgary, equals out of Canada. Equal basically moved down to Oklahoma to drill the Mississippi Lime, and now they're getting ready to sell themselves to PetroFlow. And there's still I don't I don't know how long this has been going on, but it was uh, right here in our backyard. So the uh, Boom U School of Business and or Finance you would like to think was following this because there was probably an opportunity to uh, watch how these lovely little transactions occur. Uh, here's the update from our end at 12 minutes and 35 seconds into the hour. Um, Shareholder Services Incorporated, blah, 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 said they should vote for the, for the purchase. We have now obtained unanimous support from the leading two proxy advisors for the PetroFlow transaction, equal chairman Michael Doyle said. Both proxy advisors considered all aspects of the transaction, including criticism by a third party who had instead proposed a leveraged recapitalization. Both concluded that the PetroFlow transaction deserves the support of our shareholders. So, in other words, uh, this guy who's the uh, equal chairman wants everyone to, they want Petro to buy them. There's someone fighting it. So the, e the merger of PetroFlow uh, purchasing equal is still, I guess, what you would say in play. Uh, I haven't been phoned it a whole hell of a lot, uh, but apparently it was launched back in December. So if you want to catch up to it, kids, uh, do yourself a favor because we only got a minute and a half left, and I'm going to run through the rest of the news for the day. Cimerex Energy on Monday closed its acquisition of assets in western Oklahoma. The Denver-based company announced, so Cimerex is out of Denver, announced that it paid $238 million to add 50,000 net acres with net production of 35 million cubic feet of natural gas equivalent a day. The acquisition also added about 140 billion cubic feet of prudent developed reserves. In a separate transaction, Simrex also agreed to sell producing properties in Kansas to an identified buyer for 138 million. So here's what we've identified. Simrex Energy uh, just bought assets in western Oklahoma, and it's a bunch of uh, natural gas, and they uh, got 50,000 acres of production, and they're paying 238 million dollars. So in the next boom, which will happen pretty quick. Uh, we're going to use that as another gusher in western Oklahoma, and it's a $238 million gusher that's hitting western Oklahoma. Uh, we're we we got 40 seconds left, so I'm going to see if I can't 
move uh, and see if there's anything else really worth uh, looking into from the energy patch. But the big news in GW Pharmaceutical is that they've just been on a tear lately, and that's the uh, pharmaceutical company out of Britain that has the drug Sativex that uh, about two months ago was at $45 a share, now it's at 107 a share. Just look into the company. They could be the next Tesla hypergrowth, or they could stop tomorrow, but they, they seem to be uh, embraced by Wall Street's big money, and we're about out of time, so this is going to be it for the barrel. K-Barrel, live radio from far above boom you, 321, boom.